I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com and today I wanted to just do a quick video on um, wet brain. What is alcoholic wet brain? Um, you often hear this being talked about in the, um, in the forums um, and you know wherever there's people looking for information about uh, how to quit drinking or about alcoholism in general, about drinking alcohol in general, they want to know information about this. So. I was going to do this quick video on what is alcoholic wet brain. Um, and they're basically a combination of two different uh, disorders. The first one is Wernicke's encephalopathy. And the second one is Korsakoff's psychosis. Now, you know, these two can occur either together or um, separately. And they result from... A deficiency of uh, vitamin B1, so uh, thiamine, and a lot of the time, alcoholics, people who drink heavily, uh, can be short on this on this vitamin. Right, um, alcohol in general. Um, the more alcohol you drink, the more uh, that your body will get to a stage where it can't absorb. Um, the vitamin B1 so you can be deficient in that way and you know the more you drink the more the more alcohol you put into your body um, the less likely you are to give a shit about your health basically um, and give a shit about what you're putting into your into your mouth so you know um, I'm talking from a personal experience here and you know any drinkers I've ever known who uh, go out and get plastered uh, the last thing they think about then is, oh, well, I have to cook a healthy meal, you know, maybe the next day or the day after that when the hangovers wore off, but not in the moment, uh, certainly not while, while they're drinking, you know. It's always uh, convenience um, over, uh, convenience over um, quality. So that's one of the things is, that's where it comes from, is basically a... Um, uh, birds <laughs> sorry distracted um, so that's where it comes from um, a deficiency of uh, thiamine um, vitamin b1 regardless of where you get that either you're not taking it, enough of it into your diet or your body is not capable anymore of absorbing this thiamine right you know they call it alcoholic wet brain but it's not in reality it, you know you, you don't have to be in a, um, a heavy drinker to get this you know it, it's not exclusive to heavy drinkers you know, people who, who are not just not taking in enough vitamin B in their diets can get this. Um, uh, you know, it's a long-term condition, but it happens sort of very quickly. You know, as I said, you know, this is a type of brain damage, right? It's um, once you get wet brain syndrome, um, regardless of what it's caused by, it's irreversible. You can't do anything about it, you know, and... Um, is part of what's known as uh, alcoholic dementia. Um, and they reckon that between 10 and 24% of all dementias are caused by alcohol. You know, that's another figure which is staggering, you know. Um, you know, and yet we still don't call this fucking thing a drug. You know, oh no, it's just a beverage, you know. <laughs> And it's only uh, it's only if you keep drinking loads of it, you know, that that um, that you do any damage. This is what they say, the experts. You know, what I mean, and the experts are quick to point out that if I say, well, it's a poison, right? Alcohol is a poison. It's a toxin for your system. And um, they'll say, well, you know, so is water. Water is a toxin for your system. You know, if you drink too much water, you can kill yourself, and you can as well. But that's not the fucking point. I've tried this, right? I've gone out with my friends um, when I stopped drinking, right? I stopped drinking and I carried on going out to the pub and I decided, right, all I'm going to do all night is drink water. Now, apart from the boredom factor, you know, that was bored out of my brain by not drinking and by just the, the, the bilge that was coming out of uh, my friends' uh, gobs when they were drunk. And that wasn't very sensible to me, but, uh, you know, I tried to stick it out, but I couldn't drink the water, you know? I mean, 
These lads were down in pint after pint after pint, exactly what I was doing before I stopped drinking. And I could maybe get through a pint of water for every four of their, their pints. I just couldn't get it down me, you know? So, you know, to say, well, if you drink a lot of water, if you drink too much water that you can get poisoned by it, that's true, but you have to drink a lot of water and it's very difficult to do that. Now, you know, water is a beverage. Beer, wine, spirits, alcohol, that's a drug, right? The reason why you can drink so much of this stuff is because uh, A, the drug acts as a diuretic, so it makes you want to piss more, right? It turns off that um, bodily, uh, this survival mechanism inside your body to retain water, right? As, as, long, as, as um, long as you can, right? Keep a lot of water in your body. Um, and B, um, you need more of the drug as you go along, right? So, you know, when you start drinking alcohol, you can only drink two or three pints and it makes you vomit, right? It makes the whole world go spinning around. Drink three pints of water and it makes you hydrated, right? It gives us something good for you. Drink three pints of, of even weak beer, right, when you're not used to it and it'll make you feel sick, it'll make you drunk, it'll make you um, have the same symptoms as if you're having a stroke, right? Now, um, what was my point? <laughs> I've lost track of what I'm saying to you. Yeah, the, the whole thing about the water and the beer and stuff like that. Alcohol is a drug. Alcohol will cause brain damage to you um, if you consistently drink it every single day, right? Um, alcohol will make you drink more every single time you drink. It's a tiny little bit more that you need. You know, a fraction more, but all that fractions add up to something big at the end of the day, right? So you need more of the stuff um, to keep you at the same level that you were, right? Uh, so if you want to get drunk, why else would you drink alcohol if you're not getting drunk? Um, but if you consistently drink water every day, it's good for you. You know, you need water. That's a good thing for you, you know? So anyway, a bit off track there, but I just thought I'd put that in. That's why alcohol causes brain damage and water doesn't, right? You know, I, I talked on another video about 25% of all deaths between the ages of 20 and 39 being uh, caused by alcohol. And there's another 25% um, quarter of all dementia cases. Um, you know, it could be as low as 10%, but I'm sort of hedging my bets and saying, well, I bet you it's more than, if I had to put money on it, I'd say it's closer to the 25%. Like I said, there's a lot of deaths that happen and they say three and a half million people every single year, but that's people who they can directly say, well, you know, alcohol has a direct cause in their deaths, right? Um, what about all the other people that died of another cause? And, but they were on the way to dying through alcoholism, right? Um, alcoholism, dying through drinking too much alcohol, right? From drinking alcohol, period. Um, so what I'm saying is that, you know, when you get something like wet brain, that's irreversible and 20% of the people who get wet brain are going to die from it, right? Um, you know, you hear these arguments about, well, you know, alcohol doesn't really damage your, your brain cells, you know? Your, your whole brain runs on, um, it's all the chemical balances that are inside your brain, right? These are what stimulate me to walk down this hill, right? To talk into this video, to think about what I'm going to say, right? You know that when you take alcohol, it's one of the few things that passes through your blood brain barrier, which is to protect your brain. It's there to protect your brain, not only from outside substances that you might take into your body, but from shit that's already in your body, right? From, um, uh, from any sort of microbes that are in there that might, if they get into your brain, they could cause you to, uh, you know, get brain damage. Um, so. You have a complicated system there working for your advantage. And, you know, it seems to me that a lot of the time we're doing our best to try and bypass these um, natural uh, security systems in ourselves in order to get drunk, right? To feel a bit, oh, I feel weird now, isn't that crazy, you know? But all of that uh, has um, a price to pay at the end of the day. So, look, I'm going to do another video on the um, symptoms of wet brain 
because um, I think it's important, you know, uh, for people just that they know. And if somebody's looking for symptoms, I don't want them to have to go through all this bullshit, right? So uh, that's it for this video. I'll close this one down now. If you have any questions at all about this, or any comments, leave them down below. Come on over to the website. You'll find the audio for this video um, underneath the video on the website, on the post. Uh, you can also get it on iTunes. Um, until next time, have a great day. Have a safe day. Um, keep the alcohol out of your mouth. If you do that, then none of this shit can happen to you, you know. Um, replace the alcohol with something good, you know. Replace it with, with water and try as you might. You won't be able to drink as much water as you can. Um, beer or whatever else you're drinking, right? Uh, I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Onwards and upwards.